Hey guys, welcome and thank you so much for choosing me to practice with today. We are working the core, we are working our abs today to progress towards inversions and arm balances and essentially just have a stronger core so we can move from this place in a really strong and centered way. Now you will need a block for this practice so if you haven't got one see if you can grab a book or some sort of item that you can squeeze between the legs because that's what we need for today. And like always guys if you could like and share this video to any of your friends and family I would be so so grateful. And ladies if you're looking for yoga Wear, I've put a discount code in the description below. Indigo Luna is a sustainable and ethical Australian brand. So let's get to it. Let's work the abs. Okay, okay, we're starting the core work standing. So just make sure that your block is towards the top of the mat and then we're gonna start right at the back of the mat. And before we get into the core work, it'll be really nice to just warm up the shoulders, breathe into the side body. So bring the shoulders up towards the ears and take a big breath in. Melt the shoulders down the back on the breath out. We're just kind of hyping ourselves up for the core work. And again, shoulders up towards the ears, breathe in. Down the back, on the breath, out. Last one, shoulders up towards the ears, inhale. Down the back, exhale. Sweep the arms up overhead, breathe in. Lower the right arm down, lean to the right on the breath, out. Right arm up, inhale. Lower the left arm down and lean to the left, but keep the low belly tone. So you're almost using the core work here. You are using it here as you side bend. Right arm lowers down, lean to the right. So control, control with the low belly. Exhale, come back up, navel to spine. So the left arm down, lean to the left. And then left arm back up on the inhale. Bend the knees forward, fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, hands to shins, breathe in. Walk the hands forwards in plank on the breath out. Spread the fingers wide, ground down through the knuckles. You can always drop the knees if you need, take a breath in. We're not gonna be here for too long. We're gonna walk the hands back to the feet on the breath out. So if you do need to drop the knees down, you can just do it for a moment and then come back up. Hands to shins, halfway lift, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Walk back to plank on the breath out. We hold for an in-breath and then walk it back on the out-breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Walk the hands back to plank on the breath out. Breathe in, walk it back to the feet on the breath out. Halfway lift in, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Back to plank, walk it out on the exhale, so strong straight legs. Take a breath in, walk it back on the breath out. Halfway lift in. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Walk the hands forwards into plank. We've got one more. Take an in-breath. Walk the hands back on the out-breath. Heels down. Hands to shins. Breathe in. Fold, breath out. Even with the halfway lift, still think about the low belly pulling in. Lengthen, really mindful of the core working. Exhale, hands come down, walk it back to plank. Now this time hold here in plank, take an in breath. Hover the right foot off the mat on the out breath. Breathe in, right knee to right upper arm, squeeze in on the breath out, tap. Send the right leg back, inhale. Lower the foot down, exhale. Pick the left foot off the mat, breathe in. Left knee to left upper arm, squeeze in, tap. Send it back, breathe in. Lower the foot down on the breath out. And again, pick the right foot off the mat on the inhale. 
right knee to right elbow squeeze in as you exhale send it back breathe in lower the right foot down on the breath out left foot off the mat on the in breath left knee to left upper arm squeeze in tap send the left leg back breathe in foot down on the breath out drop the knees down Whoo! <laughs> Good way to warm us up. Lower the right forearm down to the mat, just underneath the right shoulder. Lower the left elbow down underneath the left shoulder and interlace the fingers together. Press the floor away and round the upper back. So notice if your heart is dipping down, find the rounding almost so much, so much that I could sit on your upper back. That's how rounded you wanna be. Send the right leg back, send the left leg back. Now hold forearm plank. Don't let the hips go too high. Lower the pelvis down. Take a breath in. Then shift the weight forwards on the breath out. Inhale back, keep the pelvis low. Exhale, shift forward. Inhale back. Exhale forwards. Inhale back. Exhale forwards. Inhale back. Exhale forwards, inhale back, exhale forwards, last one, inhale back, exhale forwards. Now find neutral, find the elbows right underneath, right underneath the shoulders, release the top of the right foot down, Woo! release the top of the left foot down, don't let the knees touch the mat, take a breath in. Now drop the knees down but don't let the thighs touch the mat, take a breath in. Lower the thighs down, but don't let the pubic bone touch the mat. Take a breath in. Lower the pubic bone down, but don't let the low belly touch the mat. Take a breath in. You can allow the belly to drop down, but don't let the ribs go down. Take a breath in. And then track the elbows wide, go all the way down to the belly. Whew. Now we're gonna go back up. So bring the elbows underneath the shoulders once again. Keep the interlace of the fingers. Take an inhale, pull the heart through. So enjoy this opening for the front body. Press down into the tops of the feet so much the knees are off the mat. Take an inhale. Now chin to chest, scoop the ribs, belly off the mat as you exhale. Breathe in. Start to pick the pubic bone off the mat on the breath out. Breathe in. Start to pick the thighs off the mat on the breath out. Breathe in. Start to pick the knees off the mat on the breath out. Hold on the inhale. Stay as you exhale. Breathe in. Drop the knees down on the breath out. Come up onto the hands and walk the hands back towards the knees. So you just got to be really mindful with the low back. That's a really good one, but always just listening and making sure that the low back feels really safe. So you can drop your knees whenever you need at that point. So we're going to move the hips over to one side, send the legs forwards towards the front. And now grab a hold of your block. So make sure that your block, you have more of the width of the block towards you and you're going to bring the block between the inner thighs or bring the book between the inner thighs. You're going to lower all the way down onto the back and pick the feet off the mat. So you want to make sure that there's space towards your face and you'll understand why in a minute. Spread the toes, squeeze the block in, interlace the fingers behind the head. Now pick the head shoulders off the mat, so make sure the upper back's off the mat. Take an inhale. Keep squeezing the block in, right elbow to the block. Now see if you can hold the block with the right elbow and the left knee. Extend the right leg forwards. Woo! Bring the right leg back in, squeeze the block. Take it back and then switch sides. This is a fun one. Also, tricky one. Left elbow to the right knee, squeeze in. Don't lose the block, extend the left leg. Bring it back in, squeeze and switch right elbow to the block hold squeeze in right elbow left knee extend the right leg and then bring the right leg back in squeeze the block switch sides twist left elbow squeezes in extend the left leg take an in breath 
bring it back in on the out breath. We're gonna do one more round. If your block looks like me, it's okay. Squeeze right elbow in. Extend the right leg. Bring it back in, breathe in. Switch on the breath out. Extend the left leg, inhale. Bring it back in on the exhale, release the block. <laughs> oh, for some of us, we probably lost the block a while ago. That's okay. Interlace the fingers behind the head again. Extend the legs straight up towards the sky. Take an in-breath. Pick the head, shoulders off the mat on the out-breath. Keep the gaze up, spread the toes. Take an inhale. Lower the left leg down and twist to the right as you exhale. Now left elbow twists to the right. Left leg back up, breathe in. Come back to center, now twist towards the right on the breath out, lower the right leg down. Back up, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Back up, breathe in. Lower the right leg down, twist to the left, breath out. Back up, inhale. One more round, twist to the right, exhale. We'll definitely be feeling this one. Back up, breathe in. Last one, twist towards the left on the breath out. Back up, inhale. Hug the knees to the chest, little rocks from side to side. On the exhale. Whew. Okay. Now from here, cross the right leg on top of the left leg. So the thighs are crossed. Either you can cross the right arm on top of the left arm, hands on opposite shoulders, or you can work the elbows towards one another, work the palms towards one another. So crossing at the elbows and the palms touch. Now we take a breath in, we send the fingertips down, reach the toes down, do a little tap. As you exhale, elbows in towards the knees, squeeze in. And then send it back, breathe in. Tap, make it really light. And then exhale. Inhale. Tap, extend, but keep the low belly toned. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, lengthen, keep the low back long. Tap. Exhale, squeeze in. Three more, inhale. Squeeze in, exhale. Breathe in, tap. Exhale up. <laughs> Last one, inhale. This looks so much harder than it is. I mean, sorry, other way. It is so much harder than it looks. And then back up. You'd all be like, what? Release the arms, release the legs. Little rocks from side to side. Ooh la la. Then we're going to switch sides across the left leg on top of the right leg, the left arm on top of the right arm. So either you grab opposite shoulders or you work the palms towards one another. We take a breath in, reach the fingertips down, tap the toes down, and then exhale, elbows towards the knees, squeeze in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend, keep the length through the low back. Exhale, tap. Three more, breathe in. Exhale. Last two. Last one. And then release the arms, hug the knees to the chest, just do little rocks from side to side. <sighs> Open the arms wide, lower the feet down, move the hips slightly over towards the right and lower the knees down to the left for a twist. Allow the shoulders to be heavy, arms really open wide and breathe into the front body. So breathe especially into the right side, breathe into the right lung. And now the belly. Allow the belly to receive the breath. And bring the knees back to center and switch sides. Hips slightly over towards the left, knees down to the right. And breathe now into that left side body and allow the belly to soften to receive the breath. So we're done with our core work, P.S. <laughs> 
just a short practice to really stimulate the core and especially if you're working towards those arm balances and the handstands, really important to do this type of core work. And then bring the knees back to center on the inhale. Hug the knees into the chest, little rocks from side to side. And maybe you grab a hold of the outsides of the feet for happy baby pose. Just three deep breaths. And then releasing the legs and coming into your stillness. It's extending the legs long. And maybe placing the hands onto the belly and then breathing into the hands. So you can allow, allow the belly to really soften now. Releasing the effort. Feeling the back body heavy to the mat. Shoulders heavy. And just notice the subtle sensation in the body after working the body. See if you can send the breath to all the places in the body that were activated. So send the breath up to the heart from the belly, expand out to the shoulders, down the arms. And from the belly, breathe and expand out the breath to the legs, to the feet. And allowing everything to soften on the exhale. Now you can stay here for as long as you need, yogis. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.